Hey, what's up guys? Hydro453 here, and welcome back to the second episode of How to Improve Your Aim. If you didn't know, this series is basically going to be about showing different tips and tricks that you can use to improve your aim. Today's episode is going to be about how to practice using different programs, and we will mostly be focusing on training your tracking skills. Alrighty, so just a quick note before I do continue, just make sure that you've watched the previous episode to make sure that you've got a mouse that fits your hand perfectly to ensure that you're getting the most aiming power uh, that you are capable of. Okay, so the very first thing is finding a good program to train on. I highly recommend Kovacs Aim Trainer. It's very simple to set up and if you spend enough time practicing on it, uh, you'll definitely notice that you'll aim a lot better. It's certainly not something that takes like 10 minutes, but you'll need to play a lot every day for at least a few weeks before you'll notice any difference in your aiming ability. If you aren't too keen on buying Kovacs, then you can use Aim Booster, which is an online flash game. It's certainly not as good as um, since you're just like aiming with the cursor, but it can help a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to go over different modes that which you should be playing in Kovacs and which ones will actually help improve your aim the fastest and easiest way. Alright, so now we're going to go over the different modes which you should be playing in Kovacs and which ones will actually help improve your aim the fastest and the easiest way. Sender Tracking V2 is the best of practicing aim uh, because smooth and tr uh, smooth tracking applies in pretty much every single first person shooter. I would stay away from Tile Frenzy because it's kind of pointless t uh, to improving your aim. Um, it's kind of fun, but like, it's uh, if you actually just want to focus on getting your aim, you know, improved and uh, all that sort of stuff, the quickest and, and easiest way, then just you should uh, be focusing on playing Ascender Tracking V2. Alright, so I'm going to quickly just uh, show you how to play, and there's definitely lots of other modes that you can explore um, for like flicking and everything like this, um, but like in, in Fortnite or like other games like that or Overwatch or whatever game you're playing, um, flicking is definitely important, but um, I do believe that tracking is a lot more important um, than those two things or whatever. So yeah, anyway, let's actually just quickly go over how to play this. So I'm gonna quickly just play some free play. So as you can see, there is these uh, little targets that just float around like this. So what you wanna do is just hold down left click and you'll, you'll be firing like that. It's super loud, hang on, let me just turn that down real quick. Jesus. Uh... Alright, I just turned it down all the way. You probably sh shouldn't be able to hear that anymore. Um... But as you can see, it's uh, pretty easy. So, well, not really. It's, it's hard at first. So what I'm going to do is just go over the different ways people usually aim when playing this one. So usually people just aim like this by like having... I, I, I know I don't have a hand cam, so you can't see my 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 uh, my, my, my mouse. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. Um, but basically, they like grip their uh, mouse super, super hard. And what that happens is when you're trying to aim like and track... This is me gripping my, house, like, my mouse really hard um, and trying to aim at these things. I have a bit of an overreaction, but it's something like that where it's very jumpy and it's not precise, right? But what we're kind of trying to work on, right, is uh, getting your hand to be very relaxed when trying to uh, track enemies like this. Um, because not only is it, like, better for your hand and it doesn't, like, you know, cause hand fatigue after, like, uh, long periods of time. But uh, it also uh, usually ends up in having much better aim than when you're going like that so yeah so I've got a very relaxed hand it's just it's very normal it's not like all uh, tensed up and I'm gonna try and like just show a quick example of how to aim okay so well not how to aim but it's like what you what, what it should look like after a long time of practicing all right so it's like this God, um, as you can see, I'm not the best. I'm not playing that that well right now. But um, yeah, normally I do pr pretty well. But um, yeah, normally uh, you don't really want to be focusing on your accuracy up on the top left there. That's not at all important. I mean, it, it is kind of important. It gives you like an idea of how well you're aiming. But it's don't don't want, don't don't like you know go into a play challenge and then just go like oh you know I've got to get a high score like that's not what you that's not what you're trying to work on what you're trying to work on is improving your aim right so getting a high score and whatever it's cool it's, it's great but if you actually just want to if you got this game and you just want to get it to actually make your aim better in other games um which is the entire point of this um then you don't want to be focusing on that you want to be focusing on actually trying to like go into free play and this does not track your um 
score or whatever. I mean, it's actually your, like, well, it kind of does, but it doesn't go on a leaderboard, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and you just want to be practicing, and then occasionally, if you want to, you can go and do the challenge, right? The challenge is, has, like, a time timer on it, and, it, you know, try and kill as many enemies as fast as you can. It's cool, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not as important as actually trying to track, you know, smoothly. So, um... Yeah, there's, there's not much else to it. It's basically just make sure that you're aiming relaxed with a relaxed hand. Because if you're, relaxed, uh, if you're trying to aim with a stiff hand or whatever, it's just not going to turn out well. Um, and it, it, this is super, super important because the amount of times that I used to die in, um, you know, Fortnite, for example, where I'd be like up in a little one by one in like a box and then some guy rushes in with an SMG and then I'm like trying to spam and I can't hit any shots at him. It's because I didn't know how to track properly. I didn't know where they were. So, um, this is why it's important to get this game. Um, I would 100% recommend it. It's definitely worth the uh, $15. Um, it's $10 in USD, but 15 for me. I'm in Australia. But, um, yeah, not much else to it. Um, just make sure you're tracking smoothly. Uh, don't be an idiot. Make sure you're actually trying to practice your aim, your aim not go for that high score. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, then be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more weekly content. And yeah, without that, without, um, what am I saying anyway? Jesus Christ, without further ado. This is not even a side of a video. No one's going to watch up to this part. If, you, if you're actually watching up to this part, say pizza in the comment section. But yeah, anyway, until next time, guys. Um, yeah, peace out.